I'm Jim, otherwise known as Hick from the Sticks on YouTube. What I'm going to be showing you today is a little mod on the Aquaview Digital Video Recorder. Quite basically, this is a micro DVR for the Aquaview camera systems. You can see the four lead pinout right there. That goes right out to your camera, and then the other side goes right into your um, monitor for your Aquaview system. Now, these can be made to work with a regular camera system which is what I'm going to do to it simply because I have a homemade video camera that I made myself an underwater camera and I've been using it for a year now and it works great now if you look at the price of some of the Aquaview stuff <coughs> it's it's quite quite up there it's expensive so I, I spent all of like 20 20 bucks on my underwater camera and it works super so we have to mod this in order for my camera to work so in order to do that right out of the box now this unit is quite costly I got it on clearance like I said but if you're gonna do this mod you know make sure because once you start doing this mod you avoid all warranties there's no taking this back to the company to get uh, repaired after you hack it so right out of the box looks just like this it's got the cable coming off and this is at the other end of the cable is your four lead pin out we're gonna go ahead and take that and put it right into the other side just like that just push in and then you just twist that there now you're gonna have what it's gonna do is it's gonna be you know your output goes right directly into your endpoints kind of kind of like a little circle thing going into itself there and then you go ahead and take a pair of scissors and you cut that cable cut this cable right here somewhere in the middle that way you have two ends one wire is coming off your video out one wire is coming off your video in this is where your modding comes in this little animation I'm going to show you since I've already modded this one will explain to you how you cut your wires what wires are in there there's four wires in there there's a red green white and a black also there's steel cable in there. That steel cable is not a ground. Don't use it as a ground. It's just to strengthen that cable in case you know a fish pulls on your line or something. So if you follow that little animation thing I've done for you there, you'll see this is what it looks like. This is your video in. It's got the RCA plug going directly right in. Your middle of your RCA plug will go directly to the white wire coming out of your video in. And the outside braided cable will go directly to the black, which is the ground. So now you can plug any standard camera right into that. Now the other side, your video out, coming out we have two wires coming out of here one will be your male RCA cable and that's just wired just like the video in is you got the the inner cable of your male RCA cable will go directly to the white and the outer braided cable that's going to go right to the black inside here now if you follow the animation you cut your green wires off both ends you don't need the green wires you cut the red wire off the side you don't need that save the red wire on your video out follow that animation because it will explain it to you you need the red wire on the video out on the video out the red wire positive goes directly to your cigarette adapter if you don't want to use a cigarette adapter you don't have to you can use the little power clamps and hook it to a 12 volt battery but the red one goes right to your positive on that and then your negative for your cigarette adapter 
goes right to that black where you soldered the other two at. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have all three of those blacks soldered together. And I use uh, shrink tubing on here. It keeps all the moisture out so that way you don't have a short. It's probably a safe idea to do. But anyway, then you're gonna have these two wires coming out of here, which it look like just like that. So now your whole unit is done and it will accept the uh, standard you could hook up a camcorder or you could hook up a surveillance camera to that. So now this is all done. And how I power this unit, quite basically, um, Black & Decker has these power to go boxes. Now I know there's a lot of bad things written about these online, but I'm going to tell you I've never had a bad experience with mine. Mine work great. Um, I have the media, I have the small, medium, and the large ones. The medium one I use works great for about two hours solid video you can get off of this off of powering this unit. Quite basically you take a cigarette uh, car, car phone charger you can get these at Walmart I, bought, I paid two bucks for this at Walmart plugs right into the, the outlet and you can charge your car phone uh, use your car phone charger to charge with it I'm going to use that as my 12 volt power source basically you put that right inside your Black & Decker power adapter and you turn that on and you plug your other end of your DVR cigarette right into the right into there just like that and now you I mean this is way smaller and easier to carry around than a big clunking VCR so this works great quite basically all this is is a conversion it's making it so that it goes from only accepting the AquaView equipment to um, any standard RCA jack the equipment that you have any camcorder any surveillance camera you can short you can use little clips on here and it works great that's pretty much it right there and uh, whether or not you use this or whether or not you watch this video it's entirely up to you leave a comment whether you like this idea or not thank you